Interpolation using 3D line. Welcome to video tutorial on interpolation using 3D line. In this video, you will learn how to interpolate values using 3D line using eSurvey interpolate module. In the previous video, you have learned how to interpolate values using TIN method. Interpolating using TIN method is suitable for surveys done on a plane surface. In canal survey project, you can note that there will be lot of variation in elevation among nearby points when survey is done at canal top and canal bottom. If TIN method is used for interpolating in such surfaces, there are greater possibilities that interpolated value will be wrong. In irrigation canal survey project, it is advised to do the survey with proper remark. In this example, you can see that canal center, canal right bottom, canal right top, canal left bottom, canal left top and one random point away from canal top on either side is done with proper remark CC, CRB, CRT, LT, RT, LL, RL or any other unique codes. You have to create 3D polylines for each of these unique remarks. Using eSurvey CAD, 3D polyline commands, 3D lines can be easily created. After creating 3D lines, you are ready for interpolation. Center line to be kept in LS layer. Other lines like canal bottom, canal top to be kept in offset layer. Use MCH command and mark cross sections at required interval. Use IDI command that interpolates the values at all cross section, line intersection points. If cross sections are created with 3D interpolation method, you may note that cross sections created clearly represents the undulations. If you want to interpolate a value at any point of the 3D line, you can use IDP command. Just select a point on the 3D line and respective value will be created. Note that all the interpolated values will be in layer called layer 1. Thank you for watching this video. To create cross sections using these interpolated values, you can use section module of eSurvey CAD, which is very popular software for creating cross sections and longitudinal sections.